Dangerous drugs off the streets. Pasco County deputies and federal agents confiscating more than 20,000 doses of fentanyl mixed heroin. The sheriff's office says Edwin Hill was at the top of a deadly drug supply and the target of a nine month investigation. In late September, investigators raided a Newport Ritchie duplex allegedly connected to Hill's operation. Pasco County is not just going after illegal drug dealers. They're also one of more than a thousand local governments suing drug companies and distributors in federal court for their role in the opioid epidemic. I-Team investigator Kylie McGivern found out that list is growing. Kylie? Yes, since our report earlier this month, the number has grown from more than 1,400 lawsuits filed in federal court to more than 1,500. The attorney representing about 500 of those local governments, including Pasco and Pinellas County, tells me that he expects that number will continue to climb. In Pasco County, the I-Team found the overdose rate is 30% higher there than the state average. The recent medical examiner's report revealing the district covering Pasco and Pinellas had the most methadone deaths in the state last year and was second only to the Jacksonville area for the highest number of oxycodone and hydrocodone deaths. The first opioid suit that was brought by Cleveland and two other counties in Ohio heads to trial in September. So local counties will be watching that trial closely for an indication of how their lawsuits could go from there. I'm I-Team Investigator Kylie McGivern taking action for you.